used to train with Ronaldo and did he get past you many times in training? Oh, of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> he got past everyone in training, not just me. Um, but that's what, that's what I'm talking about. If you're a defender and then obviously you're facing him uh, one day, Nanny the next day, Rooney the next day. Um, like, perfect that, practice. It's, it's perfect practice. Yeah. And that's why we were able to cope with other teams and uh, tricky players that other teams had because you were facing it day in, day out. Like he was, yeah. uh, and he, he, there was nothing better to challenge yourself against him every day, you know, because you'd watched him work, you've seen him working hard every day. And it was it was a joy to be up against them, you know. When, did that, when did that start? You know, when Ronaldo just started training obsessively behind the scenes. Was it straight away at United? Pretty, pretty much straight away because we noticed straight away with his uh, doing his ankle work. He'd seen Figo do it, um, strengthening his ankles because he knew I'm playing out wide, sliding tackles. My ankles are going to get absolutely destroyed. But every day he was doing this band work to strengthen all the ligaments around the ankles because he knew he was going to get kicked so much. That's, that's one of the, obviously as well as doing his press ups, chins. This. <laughs> I did an interview with Patrice Everway. He announced his retirement actually. He said two great uh, Ronaldo stories in there. He said one, there was a story about playing Rio Ferdinand at table tennis and all the Man United uh, players were watching. Yeah. And Rio won, and all the Man United players were giving Ronaldo a bit of stick. That Ronaldo went home and, and practiced religiously for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. They played again, and Ronaldo wiped the floor with Rio Ferdinand because <laughs> he was just so competitive. And the other one that he told, uh, which is a brilliant story, is that he would never go round to Ronaldo's house for lunch again because Ronaldo invited Patrice Everett. You heard the story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and afterwards, he said he just had plain chicken, rice, the healthiest meal ever, water, no, not even <laughs> salad dressing or dressing on the chicken. Afterwards, he said, do you want to play some two tights? Then after that, he said, do you want to... Come for a swim, go for a sauna. He went, mate, we're just, we're just training. We might as well do this in training ground. <laughs> but he said, as a, as a competitor and an individual, he said he was just driven on a whole different level to any player that he, yeah, he played he was. with. Yeah, and look, he, he openly admitted that he was going to go to Madrid yeah. at some quite early on. So did you know you, you knew that was happening in the Madrid? Yeah. yeah. I think we did well to hold on to him that extra year we did. did you, yeah. you know what I mean? Because he, he was desperate to go there. Yeah. So like, when he like, first arrived, did, did, you, did you know he was going to be a special player? I knew before you arrived. Oh, it's a game, it was wasn't it? Yeah, against yeah, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all jet lagged, yeah, yeah. but. <laughs> <laughs> Great <Straight reason. laughs> No, look, you could, you could tell. You're looking at a player before a game, and he's yeah. like, he was staring back, thinking, OK, I was like, oh, this kid is up for it. Yeah. But Did obviously, it the deal. Half time? Was everyone no, the, de the deal know, was practically like the done. The, the deal was practically done before, oh, right, before okay. the game. Right. But obviously, what, what happened in the game was kind of yeah. like, right, let's make sure it does happen. Yeah. And I think it was done quite quickly then. But they were obviously thinking about maybe leaving him on loan and then at Lisbon for the year. But then they told on a minute, this, this kid's ready. Get him <laughs> in. Yeah. 